Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Dr. Mundo top lane the easy way And that is to start with a Ruby Crystal or a Cole to get a super early heart still Heart still is where this champion shines because the more HP you have the more AD you get from your E And plus the rest of your kit scales off of HP as well like your W your other part of your E active your R With that being said you need to ban Vayne and you don't want to first pick Mundo because there's a lot of max health damage in league at the moment whether it's a champion like Vayne or whether it's someone going double max health burn with Leandris and Demonic like Karthus or Lilia. Or whether it's someone building Bork. Bork's really annoying, max health damage on it as well. So you do have things to watch out for. But if you ban Vayne and you don't per first pick Mundo, he's one of the best top laners in the game at the moment. We have Grass Demolish with Conditioning Overgrowth Approach. So we can move fast when we land slow. Plus free boots for the 300 gold. Plus extra speed, attack speed, AD, and health. The health overgrowth and grass pelt is going to help us to just perma stack hp forever scale off the heart still and then titanic gives us more attack damage the more health we have that being said mundo's early game is terrible his first level is not that great he doesn't really shine till heart still honestly so we're gonna play back play submissive let them push to us and we're gonna farm mainly with cleavers like he's playing close enough there to punish us auto in the queue we get both. My heart, my grasp is up, so I'll trade a single auto, and that's okay. We try to hit him with cleaver, and we'll back off. It's very good for us. We got CS, we got all, and a grasp. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. We only trade an auto if they force the trade, and if my grasp is up. If that's not the case, then we don't do it. I mean, they can block my cleaver and stop me from CSing, but they'll lose. <laughs> they'll start to lose all their health. He's pushing this to us. If he doesn't pressure us, then we'll just last hit with autos. When you're farming so much with your Q, they don't start to expect you to hit them with it. If your E kills something, it shoots it out. Spread shot AoE damage. Helps us to last hit a little bit. We're getting most of this. We're actually going to be pretty much tied up CS. Auto Q, auto have this in a tiny freeze he's certainly going to be able to break it though auto e reset Oof, didn't quite get it and toss out the q auto e we're gonna miss that one this minion as well i need to chop him up dodge that this isn't a true freeze as you can tell, he needs to have four or more minis than us. I basically need to back here. I'm out of HP. Wave's not in a great spot for me, especially if he tries to freeze it, then I'm going to have to reset, get my health back. If he doesn't contest me for this, we cleave her a different minion. Nice, we got it. We'll get this one as well. Got it. We're chilling. It is a little dangerous to stay for sure. He's not really forcing anything though. Nice. He took a turret shot for that. Boop. As long as I'm still getting XP, you can kind of get away with playing like a leech. And this is the struggles of Mundo. You're one of the best champs in the game, but <laughs> before you have heart still, you're legit just one of the worst. Max range Q farm. Activate our W and we're chilling. As long as your W hits something, you get back, or an enemy champion, you get back all of the Gray's health. Otherwise you only get half of it. All right, let's go ahead and pick up as much as we can. We'll grab this, we'll grab this, and TP on back. We still don't necessarily win solo because he has lethal tempo. We got to keep our trades short. There's the Q. My grasp is up. Pick that up. Auto W, Q auto. Not a horrible trade. 
auto q auto and he didn't respect us at all there we have more hp so we're going to be getting extra ad from our e it's gonna be tough to fight all he had was this silly little dorn blade there dorn's blade is a silly billy item i have my r plus grasp up q auto e i might have just killed myself psych we're chilling and grilling <laughs> i didn't realize he was six I, I just straight up didn't see it our pass is pretty good against Sion. if you get hit with a hard cc so a non-slow then uh, it scrapes your passive but you're not affected by the cc that makes nasus wither and ash slows very frustrating they, fo they fully connect that does a lot of damage it's being executed Mmm, missed. Play it nice and slow. I got a reset. Auto E. Drop the Q. Our E as well does more damage to lower in health we are. Up to 60% increased on my missing health. So yeah, the lower we are, the more dangerous we are as well. Let's go ahead and walk back to lane. Mundo passive spicy plus you get extra health based on your maximum health so you get the block cc pick up your canister heal get it back faster plus a little bit of health regeneration based off your max hp your w ends up doing more damage the more health you have he gives you more ad and does more damage on the active the more health you have and then your r gives you back more health as well the only ability that doesn't scale off of health is your q yeah it's just your q that doesn't he did get a turret plate there that kind of sucks turret plates worth oh they actually nerfed turret plates two turret plates isn't worth a kill anymore turret plates used to be 175 gold now they're only worth 125 so it's not quite as big of a deal but still prefer to avoid it don't know where poppy is we don't have a ward at least check for the control word so she doesn't free gank. I can't even reach that minion, bro. I'm getting creep blocked so hard. And max our E second. Yep, 163. My grasp is ready. He's lining himself up with the wall in the turret. Never do that against skill shots. You'll lose all your health that way. I can just shove this down, bop it with the E. As long as your E kills, it will spread it. It also spreads versus uh, monsters, even if it doesn't kill. They did that to buff Mundo Jungle a while back. Got it. Dude, this guy's losing so much health. <laughs> I can just walk up and kill him. Auto E. That hurt. You're dead. Boop. Ghost R. Walk him down. He didn't want to lose a bunch of plates. I have Damal. She is going to lose a bunch of plates now anyways, though. He was probably spamming his jungler the whole time. Very greedy. Oh, Poppy was in the top area as well. That actually makes more sense why he did that. Auto E reset against the turret. I don't think Poppy can kill me. I'm pretty tanky. Yeah, good luck here, buddy. I mean, nice if I could walk. Auto EQ. She's dead. Oh, almost. That was very close. All right, I'm out of here. I'm not sticking around for this. Whew. Boy, oh boy. That was so close. Poppy Q is really good against Mundo. It's max health damage. There's the heart still. We don't have free boots yet. Definitely feeling the... Uh, on fire second here if the enemy top and jungle are both physical damage the people are going to be interacting with the most then Sunfire second is great because obviously lots of health damage and armor if they have more mixed damage like true damage physical or magic or a combination then titanic's best because it's just health armor you're not having to commit to a certain resistance type but since they are both physical we'll run sunfire into titanic otherwise it would be heart still uh 
into Titanic. Oh, he just messed up. Did get a plate. Scumbag. Boof. Pow. Pow. Mundo's so much fun to play, dude. You gotta be so safe on him early, though. He's so terrible early. Whether it's a Fiora, a Riven, a Garen, Camille, Orn, Darius, Kale. I mean, hell, even a Nasus. Like, if Nasus goes lethal tempo, it's hard to even just stand there and trade autos. There's not a single top laner out of the top 15 Mundo gets to be aggressive with in the first five levels and just step all over them. Auto E reset. I can stop from coming back to lane. I have hearts still. Oh, okay. I said you're not allowed to come this way, buddy. I said you're finished. Auto E reset. <laughs> I'm not mean him. That's hilarious. This game's over. Seriously. Mundo, he's one of those characters. If he's once he starts getting solo kills, it's oof, man. One of the toughest scalers in the game because he's tanky. He's not squishy. Auto E reset. Ash just tried to R somebody, nearly hit me. Auto E. He loses turret here. I'll wait. Let it break. I'll TP back. Grab this, we'll grab that. And we'll TP right around there. I can smash his turret whether he's under it or not is the funny thing. There's nothing he can do about it really. Sunfire's gonna get me hit. My bomb is auto EQ. Walk through it, pick that up, put it on a lower cooldown. Plus, it heals you when you pick it up. Oof. And just got built in wave clear with his E. Oof. It's doing a lot of damage now. It's giving me 91 attack damage. Guys, we're chilling on nearly 180 AD, 13 minutes in. So that, that's what I'm saying though. Once Mundo starts getting solo kills, it's a completely different video game. Ash is going to be an issue in team fights for sure. Zerath Rylize is going to be an issue for sure. Q auto. Auto E. The Q does more damage the healthier something is. It does current health damage, not max health or missing. Got him with a Q, lock him down, get on a W auto E. Missed my Q, that sucks. You better have R, buddy. Boof, boof, boof. Yeah, I have more AD than he has for sure. 100%. How many grass do we have? We have 15, was that like 150 health? No, that's like 100. You have to have 20 to have about 100, so I'm around 80 health off of Grasp. 166. Overgrowth is giving me more health than Grasp has so far. Feels bad. You can play Fleet on Mundo. Fleet's not bad by any means. Grass has a little bit better scaling, though. Yeah, I gotta stay away from her, man. She's trouble. You don't want to deal with that. I wonder if they're collapsing. She's so brave to step up like that. Oh, somebody's pissed. Somebody just flashed. They're getting angry. <laughs> Someone's mad. Report Yon thanks. I think Yon flashed in place because Ash is still in his CS. I think she she's being like, well, we... You lost your turret, so it's time to lane swap. And he's saying, I can I can take it. I <laughs> can handle Mundo. But he definitely can't. Ash is making the right move, but Yon has, doesn't, either doesn't know she is, or he just can't swallow his pride and accept that. There's nothing he can do against us now. Auto. Oof, couldn't get the E on him. 
My passive went over the wall. How unlucky. I can't even pick that up in time. It disappears after three or four seconds. Oof. That's all about power spikes, guys. In League, the most important things is items and how they interact with your champion. And how big is it? Some champions need two full items. Some champions need just a sheen. You know, some just need one item. Some need level six plus an item. Mundo's one of those champions. He just needs heart still. Once you have heart still, the whole everything changes. Oh, jeez. You're gonna walk right through, buddies. <laughs> They're all chasing me. He admits to in and then mutes all. I think that's a fake statement. I don't think any Yone ever admits to int. That's just what Yone does. Auto E. Nice. Got the ash. That's what we call a beatdown. Street justice. <laughs> Pick ash, get a spanking. Auto E. Q. Don't know where Yone's at. He might have rage quit. Hey friend, auto E. You can't see see me either, at least not with his with his one ability. Oh, the flash! I was gonna BM him. A big, big old BM right on his head. That was a really good flash. That's a thick wall. Slow down, boy. Still got XP from the melee at least. Well, back when we can afford full Titanic. No reason to back right now. We're out of control. Can 1v3. Cannot 1v5 yet. Definitely 1v3. Blew up in 46. Let's see who I can pull over here. Oh, I should probably TP. I've not seen anything to TP to, though. Wait, we still won that fight and I wasn't even there. Yikes. All right, let's just end this game. We'll do another one if I can end pre-25. I have a feeling. Poof. Poof. I like how Mundo uses his head as a battering ram. Such a good animation. The sound artist did an amazing job on his head bang. It really, ma it really makes it sound like he's doing it. Leave that there and take this stuff. Auto eat. I gotta kill those dang, uh, I gotta kill that dang ward. Who does this guy think he is stepping up? Imagine if I could hit the ward right now. That'd be cool. Mm, got it. Hey, buddy. You don't have flash this time. Boof. Bah. <laughs> oh, this is the Matrix. I'm killing those squid monsters at the end. You really wanted that blue buff. Yon one for Bork. That's the right item to go for against Moon, though. Even if I have six items, as long as he has Bork, every auto he does is going to do hundreds and hundreds of damage. Jesus. Me taking the inhibs probably not even a good thing. It'll just let them get CS and catch up. T don't typically want to take them pre-20. Because uh, you can't even get Baron yet. Alright, let's leave. His Leandre freaking hurts, man. I don't have magic resist. And I didn't go for conditioning. I went... Oh wait, I did go conditioning. I forgot. Cool. I guess I do have some magic resist. Got 10. Now we have Titanic. Now we go for... Probably Force of Nature for the movement speed. Can he escape? Let's find out. Okay, he can escape. We just found out. 
We are at 361 AD. Auto E. Boof! Got him with the Q. Oh, she's on Ghost as well. Got her Ghost in Flash. Hey, Poppy. I don't think Zerath landed a single thing there. Oh, if I got to just... I got a boogie. These turds are surrounding me. It's getting stinky. Poof, missed. All right, let's go farm their camps. I mean, heck, if they got their whole team over here and they're not even going to commit to fighting me, then I'm not going to fight them under their turret 1v4. They got to come to me. I'm the big sow in town. Gotcha, buddy. Is he giving me a leash? What a nice guy. <laughs> How are you going to leash me like that? And, and be on Poppy's team. It's a close game. You wouldn't even think... You think we were like 20 to 0 right now, but they're actually up in kills. Just It's just that they don't have a good answer to Mundo right now. Once Ash has Bork and Yon is 3 items, maybe. I need to stay alive, because if I die, they get a thousand gold that is more than three full kills that's basically a full minion wave plus um about a full minion wave plus three kills is what what a 700 plus bounty does wild we got 390 ad he's giving us 192 titanic's giving us uh 84 yeah the ease gives quite a bit Oh, that's bad. I'm dead. And th th this is the problem. When they're all on you like this. Is, is who do I go on? Oh, that sucks. They took me down. I hate Thornmill, but I might actually have to go Thornmill. Because Ash was digging into me hard there. That's rough, man. We took nine. How did we take 9,000 damage? They must not have any hill cut. Yeah, zero. <laughs> That's another tip. When you play against Mundo, build hill cut or spam your teammates to build hill cut. Because if no one builds hill cut, you lose. They, could, they had to basically kill me twice because they didn't have hill cut there. Your R at rank three heals you. Additional 5% per enemy champion. That's a relatively new addition. That must have been added just this year. Interesting. Yeah, we're, we're in a tough spot. Ash kind of has to die first. Ash got to die first if possible. Like, it's not going to be easy to do, but... If she dies, I can wipe their team. But every auto of hers is slowing me. I don't really need to farm this anymore. Hmm, that's annoying. Bro, if once my R and Ghost are up... What did I say, boy? Boof. Boof. Oh, run. Run. <laughs> they said GG, I guess. <laughs> How was that balance? You can just sit there, kill five people, and stand underneath turret for. What was that, like 10 plus shots? I like how he thought he was really gonna live. <laughs> He's Sonya's. Oh man, this game's too funny. I should probably die again, otherwise they're gonna surrender. People don't surrender as quickly in ranked games, but they will when they're losing really bad. Which is funny because they're basically tied up in kills. They Just like I said, they, they don't have heal cut. Even if they did, we'd still be a huge uh, problem for them to take on. The fact that they don't have heal cut. 
No zero ignites, and none of them went executioners or thornmel. Thornmel's probably the worst form of hill cut because I have to hit that person for them to even get the hill cut. I gotta run now. Once once you lose your passive and you can't pick it up, you gotta get the heck out of there. You're gonna get CC chained. Because if you can pick it up in the mid and late game, it's back instantly. You can have it up forever if you pick it back up in the mid late game. But if it falls off and you can't pick it up because they step on it or you just can't get to it. Hmm. That was rough. I kind of need a ghost up to kill Ash. Without it, oh, man, just my R alone, like you saw there, Velkov's defensive E. In terms of our health still scaling, we, we definitely still have some from overgrowth and kind of from grass. Grass is honestly the worst form of infinite scaling HP. This is barely giving us more than 100 health right now. This is close to 150 health. Ooh. Which is like, come on now. But this overgrowth is double what our grass has given us. And it's such a passive AFK type of rune. Even our side runes give them more help than grasp, or very similar amount, 133. He's giving 233 bonus attack damage. Heart, uh, Titanic's giving him a bonus 72, so it's, it's 100 total. So 100 versus 233. Titanic's basically gonna give a combined total of uh, less than half of what your E will be giving you. We know he's that freaking good. Hmm, buddy. Bro, I can't move. Cleavering Ash might actually be my best way of escaping. Like, there my cleaver hit, and she couldn't... She wasn't fast enough to really keep the auto pressure on me. He was only doing a measly 200 damage against against her. Okay, we're on Ghost. We're on R. There it is. 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 <laughs> I think my Sunfire would have killed her at that point. <laughs> Ash is so pissed in all chat. That's just how Mundo is, man. If Mundo can make it to heart still without dying or without being down a bunch of CS, he's such a freaking issue. Ah, uh, GG's. We'll take it. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, damage champions, we had the most in the game. And in fact, we had almost more. We might have actually had more than our whole team combined. 22,000. Uh, mm, 31. Yeah, I think we actually had more damage dealt than my whole team combined. That's wild. My team didn't even do bad. They were within a, a, an okay range of the enemies. The enemies had a very good comp, though. With the Velka Zerath, when you approach into that, my whole team's going to get shredded. The Kali Echo are going to be useless into this. Uh, especially with Poppy blocking off the Echo Dash and Akali Dashes with her W. So the only one who could truly pull weight this game as a champion is Mundo Seraphine and MFR. But our front line, absolutely nothing. Damage taken most in the game, self-mitigated most in the game. And that, guys, is what we call ultimate balance. When you can take the most, deal the most, and self-mitigate the most, that's when you know Riot did a wonderful job on balance because... You just can't do that with so many champions. No matter how good or no matter how hard you're smurfing on Evelyn, you'll really never, ever have a game where you deal the most damage, take the most, and self-mitigate the most. It just won't happen. Because if you're taking the most, you're probably dying, and then you won't be dealing the most. Uh, same thing with 80 carries. 80 carries won't really have all three. But to have all three is... Just just stick with it. That, that is outrageous. Uh, for runes high value, I think Rasp as a whole is very, 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 very disappointing. To where... I wish there was a better option. I guess you could go Lethal Tempo, but Lethal Tempo is going to be so freaking bad early game. Because you don't have hearts still yet. So like late game, Lethal Tempo is going to be 10, 20 times better. But it's just tough to get the right balance between 
between consistency and carry potential on a keystone for Mundo. It, it's tough, man. But yeah, I'm not that happy with Grass' performance in terms of permanent HP or even necessarily anything else. I guess in the late game, the damage is okay because this damage scales off of HP a bit, but still. Good value from everything else. If you guys enjoyed this Mundo video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.